All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, today in the news, I see that Apple um, has a couple things going on. Um, one is they're in talks with setting up a podcast subscription service, um, much like, I guess, a Patreon would be, right? Where um, you could pay for people's podcast or video service, I guess. I don't know how this will be, but they're apparently someone's putting a leak out there that they are in talks with some podcast um, studios. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. I know a lot of my favorite podcasts I, I now listen to on my Apple speaker and it's a great experience. I gotta, I gotta say the Apple hardware um, is where I listen to a lot of my podcasts now. And um, I've always used the Apple Podcast app. So it's great to see that that is going to be something that they'll be offering. So I don't know how much it'll cost, obviously, right? There's no word on that. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Currently, um, Apple Music, I believe, pays the same streaming rate as, you know, the rest of them, meaning a half a cent. Basically, we're just going to put it as that. Um, and then with podcasting, you know, if you're able to set up a subscription, maybe you can charge what whatever you like for your podcast subscription. Does Apple get a 30 percent cut of that or 15 percent cut of that or maybe, you know, one percent cut of that? Who knows how this will end up happening? But it is interesting to see that they are actually looking in this direction. And then next that popped up <clears throat> um, back in 2020, Apple actually won a patent that uh, supports the rumor that we've all been hearing that they are starting to develop their own search engine. Now, there's other videos out there where Apple um, shows that they're looking for search engineers. Um, they've recently hired a head um guy from Google who's actually been working for Apple for a while, but now he's the head of the, uh, the new search engineering development program. So it's going to be interesting to see where this leads now too. If you have the new iOS 14 update, you've noticed that Apple uh, is no longer giving you Google searches. Um, Apple is searching the web themselves. And then once you click the link, uh, you go straight back into Safari. Um, kind of bypassing Google searches for some Siri uh, searches, but not for like Safari searches and things like that, which I believe is the terms of the condition they have with Google currently uh, to be the top browser on the Safari. And they're paying billions of dollars. Now, if you think about it, if Google is paying Apple, which is between eight and 12 billion a year to be the search engine of of preference on the safari browser can you imagine how much money they're actually making from that search like just alone google must be making i would say triple that you know google is a huge company and apple definitely uh has more money than google so if Apple got into search with their hardware already being integrated from, let's just say, you know, the watch alone to the speakers. Now they have Safari. If they become the dominant search engine, um, because they started doing this because of privacy concerns, right? You know, Apple doesn't share any of your information, but with Google being the primary search engine, that means Google still gets to track some of what you do on the internet. So in order to avoid any more legal action, I believe this is why they're heading in this direction. And this definitely is going to be used um, throughout the uh, iOS system. So interesting to see. Let me know your thoughts. As always, I answer all uh, comments within 48 hours of me posting this video. And if you want to take the conversation any deeper, you can always find me over on the Combos app. Just click the link in the description below. And until next time, as always, love life.